Hello, I'm Tom Nahumi from Dell EMC. In this demonstration, I'm going to walk you through the integration between Dell EMC AppSync, ParStore, and VMware vSphere. Dell EMC AppSync simplifies, orchestrates, and automates the process of generating and consuming application consistent copies of production data. On this screen, you can see my AppSync appliance which is connected to my ParStore 9000T storage array. On my ParStore array, I created a 2TB volume, mapped to my ESXi host cluster, formatted the volumes as VMFS6, and deployed two virtual machines on top of it, App01 and MSSQL01, so we can protect them using AppSync and its store integration to ParStore. Policy-driven service plans in AppSync give clear visibility into SLA requirements and resource utilization, thereby eliminating the friction between application and infrastructure owners. The next step is creating the service plan and attaching it to the data store I want to protect. For the purpose of this demo, I'm creating a new service plan called parser underscore local. I'm setting the copy location to local, which creates local protection snapshots at the storage array level. Next, I'm selecting the copy consistency. AppSync allows us to create application consistent snapshots by taking a VMware level snapshot of that virtual machines prior to the storage level snapshots and delete it once the operation is done. Next, I'm setting the scheduler. I can choose between multiple options, such as running it every day, on selected days, or at a certain interval of minutes. I'm setting it to create a snapshot every 30 minutes, leaving the RPO with the default value, which is 24 hours. I'm clicking next to review the setting and then finish to complete the service plan creation. Now that I have my newly created service plan, I can attach it to a VMware data store in order to provide protection for the virtual machines which reside on that data store. I'm clicking on copies, VMware data centers, and I can see my VMware data center that I registered in advance. Next, I'm running data store discovery to list the new data store I've just created. I'm selecting my data store parstore underscore ds01 and subscribing it to the service plan I just created, parstore underscore local. This process will take a few seconds to complete. During the process, AppSync is scanning and discovering the application storage and creating the first local protection copies of our two virtual machines. By navigating to the parstore web UI and clicking on my volume, we can see that a new snapshot has been created by AppSync. More and more snapshots will be created on this volume based on the frequency we set for this service plan. If I navigate to the vSphere UI, I can see that the VMware snapshot has been created prior to the storage level snapshots and deleted once the storage snapshot has been taken. Now, we can finally proceed to the virtual machine restore process. I'm selecting my data store and clicking on restore. Next, I'm selecting the copy I want to restore from. In this tab, I have various options to choose from. In my case, I would like to delete the existing virtual machines and refresh them from the snapshot. During this process, AppSync will delete the existing VM from vSphere, refresh the storage from the snapshot, rescan the hosts, and then re-register the virtual machines. Here, I'm unchecking these two options as they are not relevant to parse store, and then I'm clicking finish to start the restore process. By navigating to the vSphere UI, we can see that AppSync is removing the VMs from the vCenter, 
refreshing the data store from a snapshot, rescanning the ESX and host, and then re-registering the virtual machines from the refreshed data store, and finally, powering them on. Going back to AppSync, we can see that the process completed successfully, and now the VMs are up and running. We can click on Details to see the full list of tasks which has been taken during the snapshot restore process. Now, let's continue to a different scenario, restoring a single VM from a snapshot using AppSync. AppSync allows us to restore a single VM or a file of that VM from the entire data store by mounting a copy of the data store and then copying the relevant files from it. Here, I'm selecting the app 01 VM and clicking on Restore VM, and then I'm selecting the copy I want to restore from. On this screen, I can choose to restore additional VMs on the same data store, which have been detected by AppSync. Next, I can choose the restore location and what to do if the original VM exists in a data store location. I'm selecting to delete the original VM before performing the restore and then clicking next. Here, I'm selecting an ES6A host in my cluster and moving to the next step. On this tab, I can choose to perform an instant restore. This option allows us to power on the VM on the restored data store and then run storage in motion to the original data store in the background so I can start using my virtual machine immediately. I'm selecting Instant Restore and clicking Next to finish and start the process. As we can see, AppSync is mapping the read-write snapshot to the ESX I host in my cluster. Then, it's mounting the snapshot as an additional data store, deleting the old virtual machine App01 and powering on the restore machine. Once it's up and running, AppSync is migrating it to the original data store via storage in motion, and once done, it's unmounting the restore data store from all of the e I hosts in that cluster. As we can see, the task completed successfully, and within a few seconds, we can access the restored virtual machine from the original data store. I hope you will find this demo useful and thank you very much for watching.